Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about highly on stock. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're going to be talking about highly on stock and really this is video is going to be more about of a price prediction of Highland. We're actually think Highland's going to be headed over the next couple of years. Um, as you guys know, if you don't know what Hylion actually is, it's basically an EV company founded in 2015 based out of Texas, right? They actually don't produce their own EV trucks, but they produce electrified powertrains for large EV trucks. Obviously, we have seen the rampant demand, um, you know, of the EV market, its growth, its its overall demand. And it's crazy because there's a lot of EV companies coming out and IPOing this year, Hylion being one of them. Um, if you guys don't know, this thing was known as Tortoise Acquisition earlier in the year, and then it did a merger with Hylion. Now it's currently known as Hylion Stock. But the stock in itself has actually not been doing too well at all. But we're going to go at the five-year chart. Um, looking at the five-year chart, this thing IPO'd April 22nd of 2020. So basically earlier this year, we see that high peak that this thing was basically a $50 share at one point. Looking at the one-year chart, we do see the same. But looking at the three-month chart, I mean, we've seen that this stock has lost 66% of its value. I mean, that's way over half. So it leads people who are holding highly on stock or investors in themselves. Is highly on stock actually worth a buy at $17.20? And what's my overall price prediction of highly on in itself? Looking at the one-month chart, still not looking too pretty, down 29.57%. And the one week chart, it's, that, it's up 0.29%, which is not that big of a deal. But I'm going to answer the question. Do I think highly on stock is a buy at $17.20? This is obviously my personal opinion. Everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. I actually do think highly on stock is worth a buy at $17.20. But I want to be clear as cut here. You know, highly on situation is very, very risky only due to a, a bunch of factors. But the reason why I think it is a buy at $17.20 is because this company does have a lot of upside potential and the stock could actually be worth a good amount in the coming years. Now, I'm not saying that this stock is actually going to be doing much in the year of 2021 or maybe even in the year of 2022. How long claiming they're going to sell 300 electrified powertrains in the year of 2021? We're going to see how that pans out. Um, the biggest thing with Hylion and, and the biggest concern is it's aside from its stock dropping a, a huge amount, basically, like I said, over half its value is the fact that the company doesn't have any sales. Now, this may ring a bell um, as another company known as Nikola Motors kind of is on the same track here. You know, with Hylion stock, I mean, it, the thing is about it, like I said, it has no sales. Um, we did take a look at their one earnings report where, you know, they had 48 cents loss per share, which was a 300%, you know, worse than expected. And it goes to show, you know, that, you know, the company in itself has not been doing too well, but... Hylion's vision and the, the actual market that it's trying to go into is actually going to be humongous. So with Hylion, like I said, they actually don't produce their own trucks. They produce electrified powertrains for trucks. They claim that, you know, with these electrified powertrains that vehicles can save up to 10 to 30% more fuel efficiency. Uh, these have actually, this has actually not been proven. So it's just all based on speculation. The biggest thing that Highland really needs to work on is really just making some meaning, meaningful sales, really getting sales on the road. It's really what's going to head the company in the right direction. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Highland is a long-term play. I don't see any short-term growth coming from this company. And the reason I say this is because not only has this stock actually just continue to decrease over time. I actually do think that Hylion stock is actually going to get a little bit cheaper than here, but I don't think it's going to be by much, which is why I think it's a buy at $17.20. Like I said, this is all speculation. So the stock could only go up from here, but I actually think that Hylion stock, it's going to trade pretty sideways in the year of 2021, unless we start seeing some actual sales. Now, the problem with Hylion, if you take a look at their business model, their biggest problem is they rely heavily on outsourcing and third-party institutions to kind of make up the work for them. The fact that Hylion as a company has not sold anything, it makes investors basically have to gamble on the stock itself. When you're investing in a company, you want to see improvement. You want to see sales improvements. I mean, Tesla didn't become Tesla the way it is today by, I mean, you have to understand that that company had losses for 15 straight years, but nonetheless, they were still selling something versus Hylion. It's, it's more of just a vision right now rather than an actual company itself. And I say that by the fact, like, like I said, the company doesn't have any sales. Now, the only thing really giving Hylion an advantage is just two big things. One, 
we have seen the EV market maturity. We've seen it time and time again that Hylion stock is gr growing and it was growing in the year of 2020 just due to the simple fact that the EV market is starting to mature and there's just simply more demand for EV cars, EV trucks, EV vans, and all that put together. Uh, people are really looking towards this industry to really take us into the next decade. So with that being said, I only expect the EV market to get a lot more rampant. I expect a lot more demand and I expect the growth of the EV market as well to continue to expand. Like I said, there's so much you can do with battery power and we have just scratched the surface here I think Hylion does have a chance if the EV market does keep up the pace of growth that we have been seeing, even in the midst of a pandemic, then I know that Hylion stock is probably going to be doing very, very well. And another big piece of why I think Hylion does have a big potential to actually do very, very well is just due to the simple fact that, you know, the market that they're actually entering is a brilliant market. Like I said, being able to roll out EV trucks or even affiliating in that market itself, it's going to be a huge market. We have Tesla, we have Nikola, we have so many companies who are really racing to get to the EV truck because you guys have seen this all around the world. We use delivery trucks, those big 16 wheel semi trucks to deliver goods all over the world. The fact that somebody can make those on full battery power it's just absolutely insane. It's absolutely mind blowing. And I know if Hylon is able to develop itself in that way and really project its trajectory of growth, like it states, and I know that Hylon is going to be doing very, very well. The, the, people don't understand that, you know, Hylon being able to roll out these EV basically powertrains for these large trucks, it can save companies a lot of money when looking at it from a bigger perspective. The biggest thing is saving money. That's what companies look for. That's what every company looks for is the bottom line. The fact that Highline is going to be able to save, you know, these companies so much money is probably another big thing why Hylion is has the potential to actually do well. But as we see it here, you know, Highline has been in a rut and the stock has lost steam. Like I said, you know, the stock that was once $55 a share upon its merger now just continues to sink more and more every single day. Now currently sitting at $17.20. It makes people super, super skeptical. And I, and I said this earlier in the video and I'll say it again, Hylion is a long-term investment play. I think Hylion will have potential, but it's not going to be anytime soon. The thing is we need to start seeing more sales from Hylion. If they can actually project any form of sales in the year of 2021 or even in the year of 2022, it's going to actually look very, very good for the company itself. But as Hylion sits right now, the stock isn't appetizing to investors because the company isn't really doing anything. And I can understand where investors are coming from or why they're speculating. Is Hylion a risky investment? And for me, I am going to say Hylion is somewhat of a risky investment. But for me, I do see the upward potential and the business model is actually okay. Like I said, the, the industry they're going to electrified powertrain trucks and it's into the EV market Two big markets. I mean, I know if Highland can actually get itself on the road, the stock is actually going to do great, which does lead me to say, what is my Hylion stock price prediction in the year of 2021? And what is my Hylion stock prediction over the next couple of years? For me, in the year of 2021, I don't see Highland really doing much. Like I said, I, I could see Highland being about a $30 stock, probably not anything more. But like I said, having good sales or even selling what they claim to sell can actually change that. But in the next two to four years, I could actually see Hylion stock doing very, very well and actually putting it upwards to around back to $50 or maybe even 60 to $75. I know these are just bold claims and it's just all opinionated. So everything I say is not financial advice, but Hylion needs to focus right now on really just getting itself on the road and really actually just projecting its sales. It needs to start selling stuff to actually let people know what the company actually does and what their actual vision is in itself or Hylion stock is not going to be doing very well at all. I say, I tell people, if you bought high and you're still holding, I would just honestly hold it. There's not really much else you can do with it. I know the stock does have a lot of long-term potential. People have said this time and time again, and even analysts have said as well that Hylion is more of a long-term play. It's not going to be a short-term play like Neo and Xpeng and Tesla that are growing at rampant rates. I think Hylion is going to be a more slow trajectory of growth. But with that being said, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Hylion stock. Do you think Hylion stock is a buy at $17.20? Do you think Hylion has that long-term potential? If you guys have a price target, what do you think Hylion is going to be in the next couple of years? If you guys own Hylion stock, how many shares do you guys own? What's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.